everyone in this video I'm going to show you two ways to get really big voluminous like kind of beachy waves but um yeah they're very gorgeous so I have two ways to show you and the one I'm going to be doing today so the first one is going to be a French braid so I just got out of the shower and that's why my hair is all wet so to start off with you're going to want to take a wide tooth comb and um comb out your hair mine is pretty combed out but you want to make sure it's combed out and don't worry about your part or anything because it's just going to be pulled back from the very front so you don't have to worry about that part okay so once your hair is all the way combed out oh and you want your hair to be damp but more on the wet side than dry side of damp I like my hair pretty wet so that when it's braided it can fully dry when it's in the braid so it'll it'll be like a lot more wavy so then I put in a mousse and I use the Pantene medium to thick hairstyle mousse for with or with or for flowing body it's just in like a blue container like this and I shake it up and then probably put about that much in my hand so I rub it around and then put it a little bit in my roots to give it some lift there and then I take the rest and put it all in the ends and then just kind of scrunch it up so that it's already a little bit scrunched and wavy when I braid it and then I just got this product and I tried it yesterday and it worked great with the other hairstyle that I'm going to show you but it is the Aussie Sprunch Catch the Wave hairspray but I use it as kind of like a wave um, just like a spray like a styling spray so I'm going to spray that all over on the underside too don't forget that and then I'm going to scrunch that a little bit And then the next step is going to be to French braid your hair. I can't do it on myself, but my mom can, and my mom's the one who always French braids my hair. So I'm going to get my hair braided, and then I will see you back here in a minute. I just got my hair braided, so this is what the top looks like. It's very tight, and it goes back like that. And it starts from the very front, so, you know, the waves are going to start really up high, so it's going to be very voluminous. And now I'll turn around so you can see the back. So it just goes down until, um, so braid it until you have no, like, hair left. There's only a little bit at the end that couldn't have been braided anyway. And right now it is 2.46 p.m. So I've had my braid in for around 24 hours, so it should be pretty dry. Don't worry if there's parts that are a little wet. It's usually like that even when I leave it in for like two days so I'm just gonna take off my headband and then starting from the bottom I'm just gonna undo it and you'll be able to tell how wavy it is like immediately when you start taking it out. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna kind of style it more, but this is what it will look like. <laughs> it's pretty huge. So I'm just gonna kind of shake it out. If you want it even more volumized than this, you can brush it out with like a paddle brush and it'll it'll just make it a little bit more poofy but it'll also kind of release some of the waves from being so tight so I'm gonna spray it with the same hairspray that I put in when the braid was still in the Herbal Essences Body Envy and I'm gonna spray that all over And then kind of shake it out, shake out the top. 
And then I'm just going to put in my headband, just like a brown and tan color headband. And it is going to kind of like poof up and go over the headband, but it's okay. I like it really volumized. So yeah, this is how the waves should turn out. Sorry, that was my cat. The next part of this video, I will be showing you how to get kind of similar waves with a different technique, kind of a different style. So I will see you then, and I will talk to you later. Now I'm going to show you the second way to get big voluminous waves. And I just took a shower and I used the same shampoo and conditioner as I used in the first video. So now I'm going to take the Aussie Sprench Catch the Wave hairspray again and I'm going to spray this all over my hair. And then kind of just scrunch it up. And you're going to need either three hair ties or two and then a few um, bobby pins. What you want to do is take your hair up into a pretty high ponytail, probably about up there, and then take a hair tie and tie it up. Then what you're going to do is braid the ponytail. So if you can braid it like just, you know, without a ponytail, then go ahead and do that. But I will braid it and then I will be right back. Once you're done with the braid, you're going to create a bun. So I'm going to turn around and show you. So you're going to take the braid and wrap it around where the ponytail is. So you're just going to wrap it around like this and kind of tuck in the ends and then take a hair tie or bobby pins, whichever you would like, and wrap it around. And I kind of like the hair tie to be on top so that it holds it in more. But I'm also going to take one bobby pin and secure it where the ends are. Okay, so it's just going to be kind of a top braided bun. And then I'm going to take some more of the sprunch spray and then spray that all over to kind of hold in the waves. So I will see you back here tomorrow when I take out my bun. I just took out my braided bun and this is what the hairstyle will look like. It is a lot less voluminous and like defined than the other one but it's still very effortless and pretty. This side is a little bit more wavy I think just because I had like a tiny like layer on this side like it was a little bit more layered than this side or maybe it was just tight or something but it's still very pretty and overall wavy. So I hope you like these two hairstyles and I will see you in my next video. Bye!